Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another G Crypto video. I am your host, Seth. And in today's video, I wanted to talk to you guys really quick about some really interesting things that happened in sort of uh, fintech and like blockchain companies over the weekend and how I think that those things are going to affect uh, certain prices of coins moving forward, as well as sort of what they mean from a broader perspective of just like societal impact and the adoption of cryptocurrency as a whole. So we're going to be talking about that in today's video. Roll the intro. So like I talked about in the intro, you guys, there were two really kind of interesting things that happened over the weekend that I wanted to briefly touch on and just talk about, as well as in this video to actually tell you guys about some of the cryptocurrencies and some of the coins and things like that that I'm looking at um, as an investor in crypto. Now, full disclosure, I am not a financial advisor. None of this is financial advice. This is just one guy who frankly doesn't even have a lot of money to invest in the first place. I'm an almost illiterate idiot. So just, you know, yeah. But like I said, I'll be talking about two things that happened over the weekend as well as some of the coins that I've invested in and, uh, you know, are doing okay for me, you know? But if you guys hadn't heard, over the weekend, MoonPay had a very successful Series A fundraiser where they raised $550 million through their Series A sort of seed financing, which basically means that their market valuation or their, their company valuation is a staggering $3.4 billion, with a B, dollars. So what is MoonPay? MoonPay is a Miami-based software company founded in 2018 that effectively allows for people to use sort of traditional payment methods like credit cards and, you know, uh, digital wallets like Apple Pay and Google Pay to to purchase and trade cryptocurrency. So if you've actually like bought any cryptocurrencies on Bitcoin.com or if you've ever bought an NFT or looked at OpenSea, you've already seen two of the major sort of vendors that utilize this company's software. And basically what they're trying to do is make cryptocurrency, trading NFTs, all of the sort of digital assets that we've been talking about here on this channel more accessible to your average consumer. But effectively what it means is that cryptocurrencies are just going to continue to increase in value. So if you haven't gotten into cryptocurrencies and you're not in sort of NFTs or anything anything like that now might be a good time because it really by all industry analysts we're still in the early stages and we're just getting started we are you know like top of the first inning when it comes to really the long-term rollout of cryptocurrency as a whole. I mean, we have so much more to see, so much more that is going to be developed, that is underway, that is in development as far as these things go. And that's very, very exciting. So if you haven't yet, might want to give it a shot. Another really exciting announcement that happened over the weekend and in a very similar sort of vein is that Algorand Project C3 also raised $3.4 million in financing over the last week. So C3 is actually a sort of protocol built in the Algorand ecosystem that effectively is allowing for cross-chain compatibility, trading and movement of cryptocurrency and digital assets, 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 assets. <laughs> Basically, cryptocurrency has a similar problem to traditional banking institutions in that capital and assets are sort of siloed on specific chain. And that's what makes this particular sort of project really, really exciting. And what C3 is aiming to do is basically making sort of blockchain technology more accessible, more user-friendly, and enabling the wider adoption of the technology. So those are the two announcements that I was really excited to talk about today and why I just think that they are good indicators of the overall viability of cryptocurrency as well as, um, as I'm gonna talk about now, sort of some more specific investments, I guess, that you might be able to make based on those uh, things. Now I wanted to talk about the three coins that I have invested in over the last week. And again, just, Disclaimer, I'm not a financial advisor. If you follow my advice and you lose any money, please do not scream at me. Frankly, I don't have a lot of money to invest in. I don't know how many of you watching do either, but there are still a lot of coins out there that are affordable. There are NFT projects that are just starting that are also more affordable for people to get into. So these are the things that I'm looking at and sort of more of the entry level or rather, you know, things that are more attainable for someone like me who maybe has, you know, anywhere from 10 to 20, as much as maybe 100 at the most dollars to invest and where to put it. So these are the three coins that I've invested in this last week. And third on my list, or rather first on my list, is Algo. Algo is the coin of the Algorand sort of ecosystem. And the reason why I've invested in this is because of the announcement that I, or rather the sort of thing that I talked about earlier in the video, which is that this protocol C3 that is based in the Algorand ecosystem bodes well for the ultimate sort of increase in value of the Algorand coin. Because C3 is again aiming to create sort of this cross chain compatibility wherein you can move liquidity across various chains with ease and very, very quickly. So I invested about $50 into Algorand. Hopefully I'll be able to give you 
you guys an update in the coming days as to how that's performing for me. Next on my list is Avalanche or AVAX. Well, Avalanche is an open programming smart contracts protocol. And what that basically allows is for codes to be written in to sort of execute smart contracts as transactions are made on the blockchain. So it makes it um, you know, secure in a lot more ways. And we've recently seen just in the last week, AVAX has gone from 8385 up to where it currently sits at about 14268 as of the filming of this video. So part of the reason for the surge in price of Avalanche over the last week has been in no small part due to the partnership uh, that was announced between the developers of Avalanche as well as Deloitte, one of the largest consulting firms in the world. This partnership is uh, allowing for them to sort of, again, jointly develop a protocol or a platform that will help facilitate um, the process of aggregating and validating disaster claims for FEMA. That partnership has seen Avalanche's price uh, soar so much so that it has now entered top 10 most valuable cryptocurrencies in the world, which is really, really cool. So that's part of the reason why I've invested. I also just like that they're doing those kinds of things. I mean, that's a really cool sort of vision to have for a company. And one of the more sort of, I don't know, uh, heartwarming uh, um, uh, applications of a blockchain technology that I've seen so far is this idea of like helping to make sure that, you know, the process of Getting people aid that they need is streamlined and more effective so that FEMA can help people who are you know, in situations where they've been affected by a climate disaster or some other form of disaster. And to me, that's just really cool. And finally, that brings me to the third coin that I wanted to talk about today that I've invested in and that has done really well for me over the last week or so, which is Gala. Now, Gala is the native coin of Gala Games, who are the developers of several NFT projects that are coming up, some of which I will probably be talking about in upcoming videos. But um, currently, they have right now in beta two games, which are Spider Tank and Townstar and Gala Games has a couple of really exciting projects in uh, development right now, including um, Echoes of Empire, Mirandus, and Fortified, which are all upcoming NFT projects that are in development by the gaming company. And so I decided to invest in Gala because I was excited about some of those upcoming projects. I've seen some really interesting videos on them. There's a lot of social media buzz around these upcoming NFT games. And so I invested in the coin because I think that the games are gonna do well. And I think that ultimately, similar to Axie Infinity, this will see the price of the native coin go up and and as such, I invested. So anyway, you guys, those are the three coins that I've invested in over the last week. I'll be sure to let you guys, uh, or try to remember to update everybody and let you know how the investment has gone and how you know how much money I've made over time with something like that. But wanted to sort of start incorporating this as part of my videos, just like maybe the things that I'm excited about or the things that I'm investing in as a sort of, rel as a very new investor to cryptocurrency and maybe share that journey with you guys. And, and that way you can see kind of how it's gone. Um, and again, not a financial advisor. I'm just a gamer with, you know, maybe a couple, a couple, not even hundred, but like 30, 40, 50 bucks to spare here and there. Um, and I'm just putting them where I think they're going to do well. And I'm just very interested and intrigued by overall the sort of happenings with cryptocurrency and, and what's going on. It's a very exciting time and a very exciting space to be in. So that is it for me today, guys. If you enjoyed the video, you guys, be sure to like it. Be sure to, you know, subscribe and do all the fun things. Uh, we've got a lot of valuable content that comes out here at G Crypto, or at least I think so anyway. So be sure to like, be sure to subscribe. I will catch you in the next one. And don't forget to game it till you make it. Bye guys.